kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Okay. Yeah. So you have to be very trusting of the uh, prospective tenant to really uh, be able to sleep at night <laughs> for the first yes. six months anyway to see if uh, it's uh, going to go well. Exactly. And that, that's where the vetting process comes in. Okay. okay. So um, that's where the, the, the vetting process comes in in order to do that. So on something like that, is there like an idea that you had are you thinking about wanting to get a a few section eight or get a few houses and rent them out to section eight like or anything like that well i i was considering yeah using some some free cash to get a place and then i i have a friend who is a a single parent two kids kind of mm -hmm. low income is just you know struggling finding an apartment and stuff like that got it it'd be wouldn't it be great to to, to help that parent out by just mm -hmm. like, okay, here, I, you know, I, I know you a little bit, uh, you know, yes. Yeah. And, and maybe, you know, after you get on your feet, you do like a land contract and then you have a place of your own for you and your kids. Yep. So that, that was kind of, uh, the impetus to my, my thoughts about section eight, you know, help them yeah. get a running start, which this program sounds it does for low income uh, people. Right. And they just have to qualify and you know how government processes are. They don't, it's, they don't happen fast. So yeah, unfortunately, yeah. how long does it take? Does anyone, uh, uh, you know, anyone in your, your chat, uh, know how uh, long it normally takes to get approved for section eight? That I'm not sure of if anybody in the chat, uh, wants to answer that question. That'd be great. Cause I'm not familiar with how long yeah. it takes they for probably, a tenant to get. Yeah. They probably know. never try to get one themselves since they're the, they're the renters, but, uh, okay. So Anik was saying he has a duplex for sale in, uh, in, in it's South so Warren. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if anyone is interested, it's perfect for section eight. Anik, send me the details. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we can do. If it's price right, we'll see what we can do. All right. So send me the details, Anik. You got my number. All right. Um, and he's also saying two to four weeks. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. So, and, it, and it's done yeah. through the county, right? It's done through the state. Oh, it's done through the state. Okay. But so you each county, um, each county will uh, run their own. Like, for instance, they, they have their own offices in each county. That's what I'm getting okay. at. Okay. Like, you know someplace in Roseville, they're not going to have a section eight from Detroit. They're going to get paid out of, you know, out of Macomb County, wherever that is, wherever their office is. I'm not too familiar exactly, but I know that that does matter as well. So, okay. yeah. So like a, a, a duplex is actually really good because you can have, uh, um, that's double the rent right there. So now it might be a two bedroom, but now you're getting double the rent versus a three bedroom is just a little bit more, you know? So then that, that's good. And we, you know, uh, if a is saying it's perfect for section eight, Hey, it, it might be in great condition. So, mm -hmm. um, and that's in, that's in, uh, South Warren. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. But yeah. Um, is, is, um, senior citizens, uh, available mm -hmm. to get section eights too? I would imagine. As, yeah, as long as they can, as long as they can meet the income requirements. That's okay. The thing. So it's all about income, not uh, not anything else. Right. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it's a federally run program. It's all about income. So uh, okay. that's all they care about. So a little bit about the age because they want to make sure you're not living off your parents or anything like that, and you're trying to claim Section Eight, you know, um, things mm -hmm. like that. But yeah. 
Okay. So like, like my mom would not be able to qualify, even though she is, um, dis well, uh, she's on disability because she owns a house. Mm -hmm. Because she owns a house, there's no way for her to be able to get Section 8. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so you can't sit there and get Section 8 when you already own a property or something like that. Okay. So, um, okay. But, okay. yeah, so with that, what I have, um, I do, if you want to do anything as far as um, looking for a property or anything like that, um, you know, I would be interested, like I'd be interested in working with you where mm -hmm. if you come in with the finances, I'll run the whole project and, and, uh, we'll, I'll set up all the systems and do everything, um, you know, for you just for like a, a percentage of the deal, you know what I mean? So things like that. So we can be partners if that's something you're interested in. Um, I've been working with that with a lot of other buyers. Um, so I just started putting that out to people. Um, and it's okay if they don't want to, that that's perfectly right. Go deal by deal, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, but mm -hmm. so Tara Lynn was saying like many government help, uh, these programs are not necessarily designed to give people a hand up, hand up, uh, probably a hand out. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. going into, going into rentals with the idea of helping people can be extremely risky. I found it's best to run your business as a business and be selective when helping make sure your, make sure real help is truly being given. So I 100% agree with that. Just because you want to help somebody, you still have to run the numbers and make sure it's profitable. Okay. If you can afford to break even and just take the tax write off, that's perfectly fine too. That's a decision mm -hmm. that you make, but keep in mind, you're still, it's still a business. Okay. So, um, you know, uh, she said, no hand up <laughs> uh, <laughs> a, as in helping them, uh, get, get help to move up in society financially. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, uh, Mr. R, which I wish you changed your name to what your name is, but all right. Uh, what if a parent, uh, passes down the property they own to their adult children? Will they be eligible for section eight afterwards? If their income is in the range, probably I'm going to, I, I'm not going to say guaranteed not, but if the property is in your name, I'm probably going to say no, because that means you have a place to live. Okay. So I'm probably going to say no to that, but I'm not a four mount expert on section eight. So that is something you can ask, uh, um, you know, the section eight office about. So, yeah. Um, so with that, you know, we're kind of coming up to the time mm -hmm. here. But, uh, you know, I at least wanted to give you, give you that option that if you do want to get into your first rental, um, I'm here for you, no matter what, um, if you do want to go in, in, into business, like you put up the funds and, you know, I'll walk you through the whole process and, and, and everything. Um, and we can kind of go through there and, you know, I'll, I'll even do the work myself. So, or, or at least do everything myself here. So, all right. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, cool. So with that, now the, this part here, anybody out there, if you have any deals that you want to either JV with or, or anything like that, um, I have buyers that are constantly looking for, uh, fix and flips, buy and holds, uh, all over Metro Detroit. Um, as well as I do have some in Genesee County and in, um, and in uh, Washtenaw County as well. So anybody that has any deals, please send them my way. We'll be happy. I'd be happy to JV with them. I also have a few other investors that are looking for fix and flips that have funds that I'm going to be partnering up with as well. Um, so not only would I be a JV, but I'd also you know work with the buyer on on the fix and flip itself 
and run the project. So uh, with that, we also do have a um, deal calculator uh, on our website, randysteadwell.com under digital downloads. You can run all the numbers. I'm actually looking, I'm actually going to be revamping that into <laughs> one coin one version but anybody who does buy it i will email them a copy of the new version that does come out so don't wait if you use the code 50 off uh it'll get you 50 percent off of the current price which is it's only 20 bucks and it's like a self spreadsheet so <laughs> you know so um but you'll get 50 percent off it makes it only 10 bucks so um go from there with that um ron stay here for a minute and we'll talk right after and then for everybody out there, anybody um, looking for any deals, please give me a call. Uh, my number's right here at the bottom. Uh, shoot me an email at randybuyshousesmi at gmail.com. Again, randybuyshousesmi at gmail.com. And we'll go from there. Have a great day. Have a great week. And... With that, we are out and see you in the next video. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room.